Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella and I love making miniatures for my Barbie's dollhouse using mostly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature vanity table for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now let's get started. Cut this part of the template 4 or 5 times and stack all the layers together to get the final piece that's around 2mm thick. And as usual, I suggest using cardstock from old packagings for this, since it's quite thick but easy to cut and virtually free, which never hurts. Repeat the same steps for this part. And for these ones, which we'll have to make twice each. Next, cut this part a couple of times and stack the two layers together. Do the same thing for this part. And then attach the two pieces together. The resulting panel should be around 2mm in thickness. Repeat these steps to make a second identical panel, then cut this part twice, attach the two sides together, then cut these two times each and glue them over the part we've just prepared, this way. Once again, the final piece should be roughly 2mm thick and we'll need to make it twice. Now cut this a couple of times and glue the two parts together. At this point, we should have all these elements ready. Cover them with a couple of layers of acrylic gesso applied with a brush. This will strengthen the cardstock and it will give it a nice wood grain like texture. And I find that a flat brush with firm bristles is what works best. And here's a little tip if you find that the edges are a little uneven, which can happen because of all the layers that they're made of, you can use a bit of spackling paste to smooth them out. Next, mix a bit of brown acrylic paint with some water and make sure that the color is very diluted. Paint all the parts using a large flat brush. I think this is the easiest and quickest way to achieve a fairly realistic wood finish. And if you're curious to see which products I'm using, they're all listed in the description box. Once the paint has dried, I recommend placing all the parts between two sheets of kitchen paper and then under a heavy buck for a few hours. This will straighten them and also the kitchen paper will absorb all the humidity left in the paint, preventing the cardstock from bending over time. Now that all these elements are ready, we can begin to assemble them. Start by attaching the top to the back. Then glue the left and right sides, making sure that these slots are faced inwards. Next, glue these parts in place. Then attach the inner side panels and make sure to place them with a the smaller half on top. Lastly, slide this panel in place. Once the base structure of our little vanity table is ready, we can begin to add some details. Start by cutting this part two or three times and then glue all the layers together. Repeat the same exact process for these parts. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. Cover the resulting elements with one or two layers of acrylic gesso. Then paint them with diluted brown acrylic to get that wood-like color. Glue the finished parts to the top of the table, this way. To make the left and right doors, cut this part a couple of times and glue the two sides together. Repeat the same step for this part, which is the same as the previous one but mirrored. Then cut this part four times and glue layers in pairs like this. Assemble these parts together this way. Just as we did for all the previous parts, cover these with acrylic gesso first and then with diluted acrylic paint. When the paint is dry, take a bunch of skewers and glue them to the front to the front side of the doors. I started by adding glue to every individual skewer, but I quickly realized it would be a lot more efficient to just spread the glue on the door and then place the skewers on top of it. And this is kind of an optional step, but I think it makes the vanity table look more unique.
To connect the doors to the rest of the table, we're gonna need some tiny hinges. I'll have them linked in the description in case you wanna get them. Otherwise, you can make them with paper, as I showed you in my miniature dollhouse tutorial. I'll include a pattern for the hinges in this template, just in case. Glue the hinges to the table. And if you're using metal hinges like mine, I suggest you use a multi-purpose glue. Once the glue has dried and the hinges are fixed to the table, we can attach the doors this way. We can now begin working on the drawer of our miniature vanish table. Cut this part two or three times and attach all the layers together. The final piece should be one or two millimeters thick. Next, cut this part a few times and glue layers in three groups, each one approximately two millimeters thick. Finally, cut this part three or four times and stack all the layers to get to a final piece that's once again a couple millimeters in thickness. And this time, instead of painting all the pieces with acrylic gesso and acrylic paint, I decided to cover them with copy paper for a sort of matte laminated effect. When all the parts of the drawer are ready, we can assemble them in this order. Lastly, we can use a small bead to make a handle. Time to make the legs of our miniature vanity table. Cut this part a handful of times and attach the layers together in two groups, each roughly 5mm thick. Just as we did for the rest of the table structure, cover the legs with acrylic gesso. and paint them with acrylic paints. As soon as the paint is dry, we can attach the legs to the table, this way. To make a mirror for our miniature vanity table, we can use a real small mirror, like the ones found in makeup palettes, or a piece of metallic cardstick. The one I used comes from food packaging, but you can also get it from Amazon and in most craft stores. Another DIY alternative is to glue a piece of kitchen foil to a piece of cardstick. It's not as smooth as the metallic cardstick, but it's still a good option. Cut this part to make the mirror, then cut this a couple of times. Glue two sides together and attach the resulting frame to the mirror. You can either paint the frame or cover it with a layer cut into copy paper or lightweight cardstick, which is what I did. And I also did the same thing for the back of the mirror and its edge. To make a stand for our mirror, cut this part five or six times and stack all the layers together until you reach a thickness of roughly four millimeters. Next, cut this part and glue it to the previous one, bending the sides like this. Now cut this part a bunch of times and glue the layers in two groups, both approximately 4mm thick. Finally, cut this part 5 or 6 times and glue all the layers together this way. Paint all the pieces in a color of your choice, I chose gold to match the drawer's handle. And by the way, if you watched this video so far, please let me know in the comments, I love to read your messages, so keep on coming! To connect all the elements, we're gonna need a sewing pin, a jewelry pin, or a piece of metal wire. I chose a sewing pin to connect the first two elements since it's a bit thinner and easier to slide into the longer bar, and jewelry pins for the other two since they're a lot easier to cut. Secure the pins with a drop of glue or UV resin. I like to use UV resin since it can be cured instantly and there's no way to run for it to dry. Oh, and this is totally optional, but I painted the flat end of the pins with the same color as the stand so that they would blend. Glue the mirror to its stand. Then glue the stand to the back of the table, this way. And our miniature vanity table is ready. Stay tuned if you want to see some miniature makeup because it's coming soon. As promised, here's a link to the free printable template. And if you want to make a cute little chair to go with this vanity table, you may enjoy watching this video next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!